Good morning, afternoon everybody and welcome to, I think this is episode 23 in Pumpkin Days with Greta. Uh, we're just waiting for the game to load and uh, I'm actually really excited to play today because yesterday the devs uploaded uh, the new bugs thing. And I was having a bit of a laugh at the Please Report Bugs channel because not the sort of bugs. Um, so they've, they've got some hornets and butterflies and I think they've got tarantulas out at one of the other areas. Oh no, and it's going to be a lot harder to beat Jounce. Um, so I'm kind of exciting, exciting, excited about this. Uh, it, it's raining so I get to go and explore. Uh, anyway, it is the 17th day of fall. I'm desperately hoping my plants will uh, do the growing thing. Oh, and I have to make a ton of stuff in order to um, get this mission done in time for Zoe. Because I very foolishly said to Zoe that I would get her bags of barley before winter. And the one thing I forgot was that for bags of barley I need to have a windmill. So I got the barley um, and I even made my barley quota for the mare. But... I didn't get a windmill and oops so I'm really torn because today I, I desperately want to go and do stuff but I do need to work on my windmill as well oh and I better feed the chickens otherwise they'll get sick so what I'm wanting to check out before I go anywhere is we'll hit that J button and we'll go over here to the museum and see what's in my bag all right <coughs> So I don't want to put any of my gems away until uh, I've donated things to the museum. I do have a bunch of pickaxes. Let's go back into J. So flower wise, we've got a bunch of flowers and there's probably not a lot more we can get. All wise, you know, there's, there's a bunch of stones we could polish to get going. So we could do that to catch up with Jounce. Fish wise, um, I could I could improve my game with the fishies. Yeah, that would work. Fossil wise, oh my, what's that? Tyrannosaurus. Okay, so I could definitely go and do some um, some fossil digging. Oh, and they introduced artifacts. I'm so excited because oh my goodness, I better be excited. This I don't have any. That's a worry. So anyway, I could get some more artifacts as well. And um, bugs. Look, see, I have no bugs. Sad. And I need to get a bug net. Oh, so much to do. Okay. Let's have a look at my journal entries and be a bit sane about this because uh, I'm hoping for my eggplants to grow. And I can probably put the chicken eggs in if I get enough. Uh, and tall wise. Okay, green tea for Viva, barley for Zoe, sugar for Tannis, which I also need the windmill for. Oh, a library book for Alec and fruit for Vera. So let's go see Alec and Vera right now because we've only got five and six hours for each of those guys and I slept in um, because I stayed up till like one o'clock in the morning. So we'll go see Alec, we'll go see Vera and then we'll go drop off a bunch of stuff at the museum. Yeah, and then uh, I think we'll head back home and plant some things in the ground and uh, stuff. So that'll that'll be enough to keep us going for today. And then we'll head into the next day and see what we can find. All right, so excited. 2,000 for my last shipment. That is awesome. Awesome source. For an early access game, this, this game has got so much. Uh, was it Alec or Alex? Alec. Okay, Alec is the vet. Alex is the lady who raises animals. Where did Alec? Oh, there he is. Here you go, man. Thanks a bunch. You're welcome. There's some animals I don't get the opportunity to work on. I suppose that's a good thing. Oh, and before I go, please have some. I cooked it myself and I hope you like it. Cool. Food. If we go to the mine, we're going to need food, right? Uh. Who did I have to see next? Vera. Vera should be in the furniture store. 
at this time of day because it's like a Wednesday and she's oh wow she's got Christmas decos and everything thank Hi. you come again you're welcome oh <laughs> thank you oh she's awesome she tries so hard to be to hide behind this veneer of professionality it's beautiful there's so many shy people except that the mission's not done uh oh thank you come again ah I did it that time I don't quite know what happened last time let's ask her how she's going right okay oh a cutscene welcome what are you looking to buy today I am not here to buy anything I'm here to okay then have a good day oh dear Iris is watching the source so I thought I'd just say hi oh okay is that it Vera I admire your dedication to your work but you know you can talk to us normally sometimes huh <laughs> I don't understand what you're talking about. This is your shop girl. You don't need to be on all the time. Just be yourself and relax. Huh, but if I do that, then no one will buy anything. That's not good customer service. I love her, she's gorgeous. Oh, you tried, Dahlia. Someday we'll show you how to relax. Oh, that's cool. So I love these little cutscenes because you just get an insight into their personality and um, Vera is she likes to hide behind that shop girl personality quite a bit now Vera would like some wasabi and as much as I don't really want to venture that way let's go that way anyway so what we'll do first is we'll drop off to the museum and then we'll take ourselves through a little bit of a run up to where the wasabi grows which is kind of if I turn right after the bridge um, it's kind of that way a little bit topical tundra spinny island the swamps and the museum and wahoo beach okay the other thing we need to do is open up a couple more um, of these bus stop thingies because it just makes our life a lot easier so we may have to go up to Hydus Ridge <coughs> and then take a jog along to um, Diamond Falls oh and they're gonna open up Diamond Falls kind of early maybe I don't know if and uh, while well, they're developing it so we'll get to see some of that as well that'll be awesome but they haven't done that yet so and apparently there's some new buildings here that I kind of oh wow look at this all right so these are the buildings that our bugs are going to be in these two big ones here and uh, this is the building as you all know where our flowers are so as you add more flowers to the museum you get um, more things growing in here I think they put butterflies in there too. Oh, Evan, I think. With the museum, we can finally argue a case against Jump's Corps. Everyone worked really hard to gather the materials needed to get that old building fixed up. But now we need everyone working so we can raise the taxes for the legal fees. I'm not sure how many people may be able to help with the actual gathering of things to put in the museum. Don't worry, Tessa, I can handle it. But you said there were still more repairs and things to do. Well, yeah, but nothing I can't handle. I love his confidence. I might have time to get the ores we need. And the bugs. Oh, great. And the fish. And the... That's so much, though. I sent everyone in town a letter about it. Maybe someone might be able to help. I really hope so. Jounce is already staking claim to the Clementine mines. Oh, no, they didn't. And who knows what will happen to the rivers and the ocean. They already have a bad track record of polluting the area around them. How much of the museum do you think we need to stop them? I don't know. Maybe around 50%. It's not much. That's so much, though. Oh, no. I just remembered I still have some paperwork to attend to. Good luck, Evan. We're counting on you. <laughs> Same to you, Tessa. You're doing a great job. Oh, thanks. That's cool. I love it they've added cutscenes as well so I think what will happen is um, if you haven't already been playing for a while or you start a new game you might get that cutscene a little bit earlier how are you doing my is so nuts some of the stuff he comes up with for our shop is radical 
I don't think I'd ever be able to come up with what he does. He tells me anybody can learn to be creative, but I don't know. All right, do you need anything? Jelmo. Oh. You know Jelmo is so snarky, right? Donate. 21%. Oh my god. It's year one. We have we have about a year to get to this 50%. I don't know. We'll be right. Maybe. Okay. Olivia, go, what's missing? And he says, oh, there's this thing. And then you ask again. He goes, oh, there's this thing. And you're like, uh-oh. You could spend a very long time talking to Evan about what's missing. It's probably best uh, if you if you don't. Oh my goodness, it's dark already? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go find some wasabi. And maybe if we're lucky, we'll find some flowers and things for the museum that we haven't come across yet. Although I don't know. Let's just go back into... Oh, I always hit the wrong button here. J, museum, flowers we've already given... All right, I think we'll be pretty hard pressed to find these ones. They're probably out on the islands where I haven't been yet. That's okay. <coughs> so, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to head all the way halfway to the tropical tundra. I, I don't really want to go. I'm a bit chicken now, so I don't really want to go out there um, at night anymore because I was watching uh, the dev play yesterday and there are scorpions out there that attack you if you don't catch them and I don't have a bug net maybe they don't come out if you don't have a bug net I wonder how I get a bug net this will be interesting all right so what we're going to do is where's my map just grab this and move it we're actually going to head uh, north up towards the Blush Bloom Hills and I think up in this area here is where we'll find our wasabi. So I don't have any on me at the moment so um, that's not great. These little white trees will give us peach wood. I don't think I have my axe. Oh that was a bit silly of me. No I don't have my axe with me so I can't go beating up trees at the moment. Uh, so what we're going to do is just head north and try and find bits and bobs. Actually that road looks like it turns north. Let's wander through. The other reason I'm roaming about the hills is um, because he won't find... <laughs> it was a fox! I'm so glad they don't attack you yet. Wow! I, I stepped on it. Poor little thing. I love that they've added animals. It's really cool. So yeah, so um, we're going to head this way and hopefully we will find what we need up there. So if you're looking for bits and bobs, generally sparklies as you know, and usually usually plant areas like this. Ooh, what's that? Ow. I, oh, butterflies! Oh, that's so awesome! And I... Oh! Oh, what was that? Okay, now I'm definitely a bit scared of... Um, I'm scared of running around in the woods at night now. <laughs> oh, Momo, that's mean. I'm going to go talk to What's-His-Face instead. <laughs> Oh, I just got stoned by one of your pets. Why does the sight of it... Pumpkin Jack, that's just rude. It's I'm going to poke you again for that. You meatbags have your own town to run around in. Stay in your town and away from me. I, I have met my first hornet thing. I still want to find my wasabi though. <laughs> Alright, that's a butterfly. Oh, what was that? I heard scruffles. If I get bitten, I'm going to be so cross. <laughs> oh, 
Oh! Oh! <laughs> just gonna stand over here for a minute. This game just got a whole lot, um, a whole lot more worrisome. Oh my goodness! That is so mean! How am I gonna find my wasabi if I keep getting bit, guys? Now, tell me, Momo, you didn't put any on the path, did you? I can, like... Oh, I can hear things. <laughs> Scruffling in the grass. Oh, wow. Hey, Evan. How you doing? I don't want to be carrying it. Okay, that's why he wears two belts do you know something else too it is really hard to um just gonna go home i'm gonna try and find myself a butterfly net or something to catch bugs with because i have decided momo is evil and so are bugs just saying wow i got beaten by bugs and spiders <laughs> See, now I'm approaching all the flowers with care. <laughs> Look at that. I would so want to catch it. It's a it's a moth thing. How pretty is that? There, now I have a screenshot. Okay, so if you hear little rustly scampery noises, those are bad. If you hear like buzzing noises, those are bad. Butterflies are okay. I can do this thing. And I'm, I'm so far away from where I need to be. I need to be over here. And I'm scared to run across country. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if I can find Komoko. Komoko is the bug lady, right? Komoko can tell me um, stuff, maybe, about maybe how to catch insects. Because I missed that part of Momo's broadcast where she said, well, Pumpkin Days is broadcast, not Momo, but uh, anyway, where she, <laughs> where she said how to actually meet up and, and get the net. So I got attacked by a hornet and bitten by a black widow spider. I'm, I'm not entertained. I wonder if there's like clothes you can wear that protect you a little bit better against being bit. So mean. Oh, Jelmo, I have I have a thing for you from Evan. <sighs> really? From Tucker Hi Jackie. Hey kid. <laughs> I tell you what, Jackie, I've got a real chance of being punched when I'm out gathering flowers now. You want to come along? All right, what am I what am I going to do now? I'm really thrown. Oh, I know where Komoko is. She's usually having okay, wasabi for Vera. That was such a simple errand yesterday. <laughs> oh, I think I missed Komoko. Hey Jim. Hi. Oh, you'd be surprised how close you can grow to townsfolk just by chatting to them. How are you doing, Zoe? If you want, I'd like to meet you later tonight at the bar. <laughs> Smart Ellie. I'm I'm gonna go home and recalibrate what I know about pumpkin days now. <laughs> I'm gonna go find a bug net. I wonder if there's a recipe for bug nets. <clears throat> oh, I can't believe I got bit like 200 times. No, okay, three times. All right, so roaming around in the darkness can get you bit. Brr. Let's go fruit picking. 
while we can. Ooh, apples. Now I can sell those for five apiece, or I can turn them into juice and sell them for 20 apiece. So, or 10, because I think it's two apples for juice. So you get um, double your money if you if you sell them as juice. Okay, let's go and turn them into juice because that will also free up my inventory space. Uh, cold drinks. I'm going to have to experiment, which means I'm going to have to free up some... Uh oh. I'm going to have to free up some inventory space, otherwise it won't let me play. I have got a small fortune in stuff over there, haven't I? I should really think about that. Alright, that can go. Alright, that's that's enough for me to, to do some stuff. So let's experiment. We're going to grab uh, two apples, because we can. And we're going to cook. Woohoo! And now we're going to do it in bulk, the easy way. Apple juice. Oh my! If I say I want 200, which I can't make, it'll tell me the max I can do. So I don't even have to math if I don't want to. There, see, so I've used up a ton of apple just to get these juice drinks. And um, actually, I should have done that. Oh, okay. There we go. You know what? I can also eat the berry tea. That will help. Okay. Let's see what's in my backpack that can go to the museum. Just in case I lucked out. No. All right. So pretty much everything in my backpack can... Um, can be donated to something. Let's just go back and get these apples. I love it. So many apples. They take so long to grow, but they're really worth it. Let's pocket that. Ooh, hello, Noople. Noople is sleeping. Noople is antisocial when Noople sleeps. Even when he's hogging an egg. Oh. Let's feed them before they get sick. There we go. There you go, chook chooks. Alright, and we'll go and pop these gemstones away. I can't believe I got bit twice. Twice, I tell you, that's just rude. Let's pop all of these away. And all of those away. I can always hunt some more daffodils up later. We need bigger stacks. That way we can fit more in our backpacks. All right, that should give me a little bit, and then we'll toss some of this juice in as well. Because I've got a fair bit of food, so that'll get me a little bit more. And I'll toss some of that away. I need to make tea for thingamy, what's it? Feeba. And I need to go plant my sugar beets. Okay, maybe I need to sleep first. Let's go do that. And I saw a bunch of berries in my boxes. We can... Have ourselves a little berry fest, I guess, if we want. So, for instance, I could turn all of these into um, juice. Except I want seeds, so maybe I won't turn all of them into juice. As much as I love the sound of that, I might sell that as well. I'm going to find out where to find a bug net and then the bugs and I are going to have a serious discussion about who stings who because that's just rude. I 
as for black widows I'm just glad there is no squish uh, possibility in this game or there would be little smears everywhere mean mean monsters something tells me I'm gonna regret selling all my juice but hey whatever it takes okay now it's nap time <coughs> oh after I've watched telly because recipes are awesome and I'm getting some really complex recipes now that I've upgraded my kitchen so when you upgrade your kitchen you get recipes that kind of um, match all right so rain tomorrow or when I wake up and then no rain oh, I can't believe I got stung again chicken and a copper watering can and we don't need to see the weather checking out for anything that's grown oh wow the mushrooms grow more than once awesome okay those are black irises and I'm going to turn those into seeds straight away but I'm going to store them because winter's coming there are any bugs up in um, <coughs> we might you know what we might do we might head over for the um, to the other caves and see if we can find any bugs actually any any more gems over there that we don't get in these ones so All right, the bugs have arrived, but I haven't worked out how to catch them yet. So let's go and see if Hefe has a net, now that I've got a little bit of money. Because he's the tools man, right? How you doing? Hey! I'll get back to work when you sell me a butterfly net. No, oh, butterfly net! Yeah, I'm really daft. Okay, so a gold axe costs 800, and a gold bar costs 180. A gold axe needs three gold bars, which is what 300 and 240 is 540. So if I spent 540, I could have enough to make a gold axe. Hmm. Worth thinking about, but I'm not chasing that at the moment. Okay. Komoko knows about bugs. Let's go find Komoko and see if she knows where I can find a butterfly net. Oh. Hello, Toro. A bird can be sweet and gentle unless provoked to anger. Then there is nothing more terrifying. I tell you what, El Toro, why don't you go hunting black widows so that we don't get bit? Huh? Maybe, maybe I can buy one in here from Eddie. Hi, Eddie. How are you doing? Yes, rain, praise the goddess. I don't have to work outside today, but I still need to work. You bet you do. Buy and sell. No. Okay, is there anything here I don't have? Probably a couple of bits and bobs. I think I need to sell. Yeah, I need to sell more milk so that we can get a milk and cheese maker. Uh, the fish prep station's in. Oh, how much do I have? 
Oh, I'm so dopey. I can buy a windmill. Yes! All right. Now I need to save up for another one. In the meantime, Komoku sometimes hangs out in the graveyard. With Jomo. No, obviously not this morning. So if I run... Oh, I'm a bit scared of running through the scrub now. If I run all the way through here, will I find her under the trees? Oh, there she is! Oh, awesome! Why, hello, little insect! Are you settling in on your new farm? I think it was called Farm Nan. Uh-huh. Yes, quite an intriguing name. Very hard to forget. It must be boring just waiting for your crops to grow. Oh, I know. Would you like to have one of my bug nets? Yes, I'm going to go wreak vengeance on bugs. You could spend some time trying to catch some bugs. All you need to do is equip the bug net and then you'll start sneaking. Listen and watch the bugs carefully as they will either shake or make a sound when they're about to run away or bite you. When you notice them moving oddly or making sounds, hold completely still until they return to normal. Approach the bug carefully and then when you're close enough to use the bug when you're close enough, use the bug net on them. If you have any questions about bugs, the library is a wonderful resource. Also, here you go, little insect. Have fun. Well, anyways, woohoo! A bug net. A basic bug net. Alright. Let's go and find a bug. Butterflies like flap. Aha! Oh wait, equip the bug net. Okay, now we're good. Oh, then you move really close. Okay. This is going to take a little bit of practice. Here, bug. So I'll practice on little bugs that aren't going to bite me. Alright, maybe if I can get my character at an angle, I can get a better idea of how close I am. Ooh. Oh, okay, I was close enough. Let's ninja up to this one and have another shot. Uh, maybe if I angle the camera a little bit. Nope. <laughs> Someone did tell me that butterflies were actually quite hard to catch. Hang on, these sparkles are quite disturbing. Let's just collect those while we're at it. Alright, I would like to move faster without having to put the net away, but that's okay. I shall sneak up on this poppy and grab it, and then I'll put the net away. Okay. I mean, I could go after the bigger bugs that are going to bite me, because that's an incentive to learn quick. And I do have health potions, so, you know, that would help. Oh, there's one. Okay, I'm going to use a top-down view and see if I can... There it is. No. Oh, man. I suck at this. There's only one way to get better. Alright, where's the next butterfly? Do they come back quickly or do you lose them for the day? I think you lose them for the day by the look of that. Okay, well there are more flower fields over here. So as long as I don't have bitey ones in here, we should be good.
I just don't know what um, close enough looks like yet. All right, there's a bug. Let's have a shot at this. Okay, so angle the camera. Aha! Awesome. That is what close enough looks like. All right, so if you hold your right mouse button down, and then just tilt your character. You get a view of where your character is and where the net is. And, and maybe that will be helpful for anyone else trying to catch it. But I don't know how that works. Because you still have to be able to see it as you get up to it. And butterflies don't give you too much sign of... Oh, see, that was close enough. But I obviously um, didn't attack it because I didn't realise. All right. I need more practice. Where's more bugs? While I'm here, I might as well pick up some bits for sale so I'm not completely losing the plot. There's um, there's some more over here. More flowers. Uh, and there's a butterfly. Okay. Oh, fiddlesticks. Okay. Kind of, I don't know how to gauge the proximity yet. Give me a bit and I'll work it out. Oh, fiddlesticks. I should probably go and read up about bugs too because I bet there are some that just come out at night and I bet they're the bitey kind. Alrighty. Well maybe the moths come out when the butterflies are gone. We'll have to go try this. I have caught one bug. Am I supposed to be running errands? That's very cool. Oops, yes, I'm supposed to be running errands. <laughs> and I really hate it when I disappoint them because they get so sad. Let's see if there's any fish I haven't caught yet. It is full, so maybe I um maybe I owe some fish to some people. Let's find out. We'll catch a couple of those and then we'll go looking for moths. <laughs> okay, with this one, doesn't matter where your pointer is on the screen, when you left tap. Uh, on the left mouse button. Uh, just tap enough to get the pointer in the key for pocketing a fish and then re-equip your fishing rod. Just tap that left mouse button enough. Each time you tap it you're going to make the um, little marker rise. Uh, don't tap it too rapidly or you go above the line. Once once the marker hits the, uh, hits the red on either side of it uh, your, 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 your fish bar will start again and it'll refresh. Eventually you'll lose your fish. I don't know if any of that made sense. So left tap and keep it inside that green bit. And I don't think, I think I've probably caught all of the autumn fish from the river. I probably need to go fishing in, um, in the ocean. Let's go see if we can find a moth. Okay, fine. Let's go see if we can find a, a non bitey bug in the dark. <laughs> they normally lurk around these flowers, right? So let's, um, oh, look, there's one. Except I ran right up to it, so that, <laughs> that doesn't work. All right, nine for net. All right, and we're just going to listen as we go. Fiddlesticks. That would have been cool. All right, 
Look at that. I don't think I've got any more bugs in this patch. Um, what are my chances of getting bitten over here? Let's find out. If I look, I might be okay. Nine for my net. I see any more? Yep, there's one over there. Let's look at that and grab that while we're here. Now, how do I know I'm close enough? Oh, because it starts vibrating, and when it starts vibrating, you've got to stand real still. Okay. You see that different kind of <laughs> Okay, there's something in here somewhere and it rustled at me. <laughs> I can't see it. Oh man. Catch a few bugs they said. It'll be easy, they said. Uh-huh. Go find the flowers, they said. <laughs> Man, that's me, I tell you. Also, when it's raining, it's actually hard to tell, to start with, what's a little rustle <laughs> and then what's rain falling. Hi, Black Mask. I I've crossed Black Widows. You don't scare me anymore. That fool, Toro Furioso, has no idea what lucha really means. That's okay, because neither do I. I will have to go look it up. There is a butterfly. I need my net. Okay. Can I catch this one? Yes! <laughs> oh, right. Someone was saying this game was too easy. All I can say is go catch some bugs. Because... It's not easy anymore. That's awesome. Alrighty. I'm going to see if I can maybe... There's, there's flowers up here, you see. I'm scared of getting bit again, mind you. Okay. Nope. Alright, so what do you think my chances are of maybe finding wasabi without getting bitten by a spider? I uh, see, I'm hearing dead silence from out there. That's not promising. It's also nearly midnight, but um, that's okay. Ooh, a moth. Okay, I think I might have got the hang of this a little bit now. Maybe. I wonder how much they're worth. Thirty G, that's pretty good. And fifteen for a burnet. Okay, so let's catch ourselves another lunar moth because they're worth a bit. Okay, that helps. If you get a head above the moth, you can get a better idea. And the bigger moths are easier to gauge than the little moths. There you go. And I'm probably not going to make it out to the wasabi tonight. Alright, what I'm doing is I'm trying to make sure I don't step in anything nasty. Because that looks like a different moth. 
Oh, fiddlesticks. It was a different moth. Alright, and I had better head for home. Okay. Bug catching is fun. Um, ask me how I feel about it <laughs> when I'm chasing another spider and we'll see how we go. I want to know how I can get a better bug net. Maybe, um, maybe if I experiment with the crafting recipes. I don't know if they've had time to put that in yet. Ooh, was that a flying thing? Yes, it was. Aha. Can I get to it without stepping on something else? Oh, little sticks. Okay, so in my bag now I have three things to go to the museum. That's not a lot. And my delivery for Tucker is probably going to be late because I've been completely sidetracked. Likes baking but makes crazy salad. I always try to get recipes out of the guy. Ooh. So maybe make friends with Tucker and you can get recipes. All right, let's uh, head for home and keep an eye out for bugs on the way. Cool. So we want to try and get maybe 50 bugs. And I think that'll help us a lot towards um, towards getting the museum up and running. But we also need to go out to Wahoo Beach. Hey, we bug. I probably shouldn't be fishing in the rain, but who's going to stop me? Well, bro, you're a big boy now. Okay, Vera would like wasabi, and I think I've got a limited amount of time, three days, so we might make that tomorrow's priority. And, um, yeah, I'm really pleased. So, we have bugs that we can catch in the game, and we can donate them to the museum, and then we can watch them fly around, or pretty. And, oh, I have a windmill. I need to get the barley on. And I've got crops to harvest, so... A windmill time. Let's go with this thing. Place and I to get rid of my inventory, but it'll leave the windmill up. Let's go pop it over here next to my storage. Just, I'm just using my WASD keys. There we go. Awesome. And the way the windmill works is this is rice. I want my barley because I really need to get that up and going. Open that up actually if you stand close enough to the thing you open you don't have to open you can open both so just make sure that you've got enough space in your inventory all right and we just leave the barley there actually that's right I need 50 bags I think for um just leave for what's her face let's check it yeah, 50 bags of barley to make whiskey for the winter. And I need to convince Eddie to get a beer barrel. And I forget if that needs barley or if that actually needs uh, the raw material. So I'll check with that in the library in the morning. Jala plant. Yummo. Awesome, blueberries. Okay. Let's go with this. All right, I'm keeping the jello plants for seeds because, actually, yeah, because I can. I need to plant those out. We might do that in the morning. Okay, note to self, bugs don't stack. 
Um, so I'll put one of those in the um, in the thing. So that gives me enough space to melt these blueberries down into juice so I can sell it. If they make juice. Uh, they might not. Let's check it. Technically I should be able to make blueberry juice, but let's see. I can. Awesome. Alright, let's make some blueberry juice. I have 78, they take 2, so that's 35 and 4, it's 39. Okay, excellent. Let's get some of this stuff out into the um, shipping box. Okay, apple juice and blueberry juice and more blueberry juice. And wooden tools, except I'm keeping that one. Basically, I wanted the um, the recipe for the tools, so I experimented with wood until I got them. One of these lunar moths can go. All right, twenty petarets can go. Polished chrysoprase can go. I know I can use it to make friends with people, but I need the uh, cash. All right. And if I can get 10 eggs before the end of fall, I will fill the quota. Otherwise, I'm keeping them. I need more chickens. <coughs> Bean corn salad. I'll have to check that out. Beans, corn, tomato, lemon and onion. I need to grow more onions. Um, I don't have enough. Alright, there should be no rain tomorrow, but maybe the day after. 12.30pm, let's just see how much energy I get back with four hours sleep. Okay have received something in the mail okay time is 808 so I don't need to water because these are all wet oh I forgot now I could go and fill my mission um, to Vera straight away but if I do that, I'm not going to actually have uh, any black dahlia seeds. Um, so I'm I'm going to be a bit mean and make her wait. There's no time limit on it anyway, so we're good. So those are going to get planted first up in spring. And we need to head over to the museum pretty quick too. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, that's right. And we can fulfill Zoe's request as well. Okay. I'm just going to go and see whether I need to have the, the ground bags or the raw material for a beer barrel to appear in, in uh, eddies. So I'm, I'm not sure. It could be actually the ground material, is what I'm thinking. So I think you need about 300 bags to get a still, and you need 50 to get a thing, a beer barrel. Uh. Hey, Iris. Oh, so cool. She's into this cosmic energy thing, like, in a huge way. Excellent. A bit of a cash kick. We need that. We need more chickens, we might go get some of those, they're 800 apiece. 
Uh, Tucker has a delivery and I have a horrible feeling that it's okay it's not quite late uh, then we better go and deal with um, Vera because Vera needs some wasabi and I promised and, and this time I'll try not to get bitten by a bug or a spider hey Tucker oh, seriously I love these guys. Always try and make sure do your deliveries are on time, otherwise you'll end up being late even when you have a couple of hours to spare. Oh no, that's not mine. It's Sebastian's. Oh no, that's not mine. It well, it's Blake's. You only have to run all the way over the river to get it. <laughs> They're not helpful, these guys. Are you sure you borrowed, borrowed that off such and such? Oh yes. Alrighty. Ooh, I wonder if there are any bugs over here. No. Alright, Sebastian's is... That way. <laughs> this is Orpheus's. We're just going to run through his chickens and cows. If we're lucky, he won't notice. Sebastian. Ooh, that's a shirt. Awesome. All right, we have carrots and rice and what's that? Potatoes and turnips. Soybeans. Okay. Sugar beets. Okay, good. Or I can ask. Okay, good. Let's just check out what I've got in my quota just in case I've forgotten something important. So I've got soybeans already done, so it's just eggplants we're waiting on. And I think I've got them growing, so we're good. Alrighty, let's go and find this wasabi. And hopefully not get stung by a hornet. Or bitten by a black widow while we're at it. Man. <clears throat> At least I know how to handle the butterfly net now. Actually, we also need to go to the museum and get these guys out of our backpack. So I have to say, I'm now a little bit nervous about running across country like a mad thing. <laughs> that was mean. Although the odds are even now because I've got my butterfly net, so look out, bugs. No more stinging me for free. I didn't see any butterflies there. Let's go and drop these butterflies and things off at the museum. And then we're going to head up to the northern area and we're going to try and find some wasabi for Vera. And we're going to try and grab some more bugs to um, to bring them back from uh, to, to bring them back so we can hopefully get 50% uh, of our museum up and running uh, before Jounce Corps decide to come in and trample all over our island and make it a mess because once that happens there's no going back so quick note theoretically when um when i put the butterflies in we might actually see them in here so i'm, I'm kind of looking forward to that and then there's artifacts which i haven't started yet so Hey, Evan, do you need anything? Oh, seriously, I could do with being called a jerk 3,000 times a day. Sure, I can do it. In the meantime, how would you like to take some stuff out of my backpack? All right, 22%. Okay, let's go see if we can see our, our donations flitting around in here. Maybe. Nope. 
Okay. All right. And then the other place they might be, seeing as this is on the way kind of to the bus stop, let's see if they're in here. Although I, I have to say, once you put a spider or something in here, do they like... Do they chase you even inside the display? Because that's kind of scary to think about. Okay, let's go. We are going north for Wasabi. I did try grinding the uh, horseradish up to see if I could turn it into wasabi using the mortar and pestle, but that didn't work. So don't try that. We could of course also go and say hello to Pumpkin Jack who, who will call us a meat bag again and tell us to get lost. But I mean, that's no worse than saying hello to Hun Jiao and getting called a jerk. Even though she means it in the nicest possible way. Ooh, butterflies. She's funny. All right. <clears throat> so. We are. Oh, how, how scared am I of the wildlife now? Pretty terrified. I'm making myself run across country simply because um, I don't like being scared. I'm thinking most of the nasty and nice bugs are lurking over in here. Butterflies! All right. So nine for my net. Tilt it up and see if we can get close enough. No, our aim is off. So what happens is you automatically sneak once you equip your net. So there's no rushing between bugs here. You just have to kind of take it slow. <gasps> I heard a rustle. Uh-oh, I'm just going to back up out of here. There was a spider in there. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, but at least it didn't bite me. Oh, fiddlesticks. My aim is shocking with these, so I am going to have to try again. So when you're roaming through the flowers and you hear this kind of rustly sound, <laughs> it's usually because there's, you know, something bitey lurking nearby. <laughs> And um, in that case, I didn't get bit. Although <laughs> when it was the um, the Black Widow, you kind of had this rustle, rustle, rustle. And then there was this thunk. And I lost. <laughs> Jeez. And I lost half of my hit points in one go. And a brown recluse is really venomous, but I don't know how venomous it is in this game. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. So when hunting butterflies, man, I'm going to have a heart attack before the day is out. When hunting butterflies, if you hear rustle, 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 that is not your butterfly. Let's go get called a meat bag by, what's his name? Hello, Pumpkin Jack. How are you today? Get lost. I like you too. I'm messing up the scenery. That's, that's rude, Jack. Rude, I tell you. I'm going to bring you tea uh, next time I, I can see you because apparently Pumpkin Jack likes tea. So yeah, so when you're out and about chasing butterflies, be aware that um, there might be spiders in there as well and uh, they're not friendly and they bite. Ooh, what's that? All right, let's, oh, wait a minute. Okay, see that thing there? That little black thing? Yeah, it's not a mark on my screen. It's a hornet. And they sting. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh. <laughs> 
and they sting you and then they fly away <laughs> and they hurt that's just oh there's another one okay because I didn't learn my lesson the first time oh that was a fly awesome I caught a fly all right, I have to pocket my um my net between bugs because if I don't, I, I creep along like, I don't know, it's night time already, that's insane. There's a deer, look at this. One of the things I love about this game is all the critters. Okay, at least the deer don't attack you. And I'm lost, by the way, just in case you're wondering. And now I can't see if they're a hornet, so if I get stung again, it'll be all my own fault. <laughs> it rustled. And then it ran away. I'm not sure I'm going to get this stuff for Vera yet. Okay. Hmm. Where's my map? All right. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for wasabi. And actually, there's the Canna Lake. Let's head over for that. This is going to be fun because I can't see half my map. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. And it kind of helps if I look where I'm going. But I kind of remember finding it just above the lake. I wish I could shrink that. Then I could keep it up while I was running. It's so much dark. Actually, this isn't where I want to be. That's the waterfall. Oh my god, dear. How cool is that? I want to be that way. Okay. All right. Let's try again. <clears throat> oh, I'm so going to get bit. I don't want to go in the long grass. There are velociraptors. Okay, no, there are spiders. And bugs and things that go rattle. Oh, it's a it's a little foresty fortress thing. In here they normally have like treasure. Of some kind sometimes there's pumpkins and okay no I can't get through there I was hoping I'd found a shortcut and they take a lot of chopping and I don't have oh no I do have an axe I wonder if this is a thing I can get in I know squirrel right usually um ooh, what's that sparkles Cinnamon, not what I was hoping for, but that's okay. Let's, I'll go home and plant it. Okay, oh, there we are. Usually there's like a little patch like this, and uh, I can see hopefully little shiny bits, but this will take a little bit of chopping. That's my copper axe. Let's go with the silver axe. We'll get through it a bit quicker. Okay. And away we go. Okay, so the, the little health bar up in the top um right is moving so we might just go through this and see how we go <coughs> and it will take freaking forever but i better watch my energy bar or i'll end up at the docks oh yeah this is what apple juice is for all right Maybe I should have bought that gold off um, Hefe after all. So usually when you're wandering through the forest you find these little hidden spots. And um, I found that in some seasons, like 
when it's not autumn is another patch I tried in spring that I could cut in autumn but it was closed in spring so and that the health bar didn't drop poor Greta she, she thought we were on a wasabi hunt here I've got a cutting through half a jungle of vines I really like that I don't have to move the stuff into the hotbar to use it, that I can use it straight out of the inventory. It just um, makes life a lot easier. Eventually we're going to get through this, right? And I'm spamming my mouse button. In some games you can just hold the mouse, the left mouse button down to get it to cut, but in this one you need to hit it for each chop. <coughs> Come on, Greta, don't be such a drama queen. You've still got a quarter of your hit points left. Okay, vine, you can have this. Done. Hmm, what will take hold out longer, the vine or my supply of juice? Actually, I might just move that down into here. There we go. So basically, when you come across these little hidden forests and fortresses of vines, usually inside there's something that um, it's generally harder to get a hold of or it takes a long time to grow. So I found one with an apple tree in it, not in this area of the woods, but on another part of the island. I found one with pumpkins in it. Um, this one I haven't been able to open before, so I'm just going to see what's in it. Come on, Greta. Nearly there. It does take ages though to get them done. And then we're going to go find out Wasabi for Vera before she skins us. Or sends us a very, very disappointed letter about how unprofessional we are for not supplying what we promised we would. Which I think is what she did to me last time. I failed. So. If you're into the Steam achievements, there is one for drinking a ton of juice. Um, I already have it, but uh, you don't need to stress too much about having to just drink a ton of juice on purpose for that award. You can just take the juice with you and you'll get through it in no time. Well, okay, maybe not in no time, but you will get through it in just the natural course of play. You don't actually have to go out of your way to do it. Yay! All right, you get some brown wood. What is in here? Oh, cool. I don't have any cherry trees. All right. So what I'm going to do now is gather all these cherries and then I think I'm going to turn them into seeds because I don't think I've planted any. And um, that's awesome. So if I was running low on energy, this would be an absolute boon. And I think, I think that little hollow will stay open for the rest of... Um, autumn hopefully I could be wrong all right now before I get completely skewed again let's see where I am at okay so I want to face that way no that way okay <clears throat> except maybe I don't want to face that way and go inside the vines all right, let's try this again on the outside of the vines. Hopefully we won't run into anything, you know, bitey. I don't think I've got Spirea yet. That's kind of cool. I'm holding my breath at every step because I'm worried about, you know, getting bitten. So I might just drink some more juice and that way hopefully if it's not something that kills me straight up um, I'll have enough stamina to to survive being bitten 
Oops. And I'm facing the wrong way again. Okay. So the last time I found the wasabi was somewhere up here. And I wasn't that far from a, um, a path. So. <clears throat> All right. I'm pretty close to where I need to be now. I have a funny feeling that Takeo is going to get his fee though because um, it's awfully close to dawn and I'm going to start snoring and I have no coffee. Ah, there's the road. Awesome. Excellent. Okay. So, I found the wasabi not far from the road. Oh my god, there we go. Can I find the wasabi before I fall over? That's the question. And I got no sprint either. So I found the wasabi not far from the road in these woods. looking desperately for sparkles in the hopes that I will see the sparkles before I fall over. <coughs> Sorry guys, we had a really creaky voice today. And I'm running right through the middle of, you know, glass where I can't see if there's anything bitey. Ooh, pretty. Also, ooh, uh-oh. Let's grab some of that while we're here. And I'm sure I saw a butterfly or something. Oh, and I ran into it. Oh. All right, let's go try this one. Okay. Woohoo! Excellent. Now, where is there another one? I, I think I've given up on finding the wasabi. Let's go and hunt down bell moths instead. Okay, the wasabi was further down the slope, under the trees, somewhere. I would say no, it's been moved, but actually it's probably just me being blind. See, I'm curious now to see how far I can get before I go splat. My husband says I'm so mean to my characters. It's not mean, it's good endurance training. Ooh, what's that? <laughs> okay, I think that was a spider. It made that hiss rustle noise. But it didn't attack me, so that's kind of cool. Now I have to find another one. Ooh, a bug. Oh, it mistakes. <clears throat> All right, what's the bet there's something creepy crawling in amongst the roses? Because roses are pretty. I might as well gather them while I'm here. There's a... Oh, that looks like a bitey. I wonder if it is. Let's go catch it. <gasps> oh, man. Oh, dear. And yes, it is a bitey. I just lost some, some stamina. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder if that's a buddy, she says. And then, oh my goodness, it is. What a surprise. Yeah, no. <laughs> you dope. <laughs> I 
So it's kind of like, you know, get really good at catching insects or die because you just might. Look, foxes. How cool are these? Boo. And I still have found no wasabi. I'm sure I found it up here last time. Maybe I'm, I'm lost and mistaken and about to fall over. Pretty sure I'm about to fall over. Okay, there's my secret grove of stuff. Uh, and I'm going to follow the road and hope I make it home, but I reckon it's 7.19 a.m. I've got two chances, and one of them is it snowballs in a very hot place. What's that? Wasabi! Yes! Alright, it's not under the trees. How many did I need? Two. Alright, can I find one more wasabi before I go splat? Yes, I can. Can I find one more wasabi before I go splat so I can plant some so I never have to come out to this horrible place ever again? This may be a no. We'll find out. There are bugs and they bite you. was pretty cool we did pick up our wasabi for Vera whether or not we'll get it back to her on time is another matter entirely but look there's a statue no it's a rock there is a statue somewhere in here though I ran past it Ooh. shinies vanilla nice so some of those spiders look like little white dangly things near the trees so we might have to go find some of those and and maybe try not to get stung by a hornet again <laughs> no doc i did not try to pull an all-nighter really You worked yourself too hard. You should be more careful. Hey, where am I? I have charged you 10% of your gold. This isn't Doc. Who's this? That was 241. This is Lan. Where am I? Be careful now. I haven't been in this doctor's office before. Where am I? Hi, Lan. Hi. I see you're not registered in my memory, so you must be new. My name is Lan. Ah, I am the doctor here on Spoonie Island. Most residents here have many medical needs, and so I am here to take care of everyone. I'm really good at medicine, but I'm not very good at reading emotions, so forgive me if I respond <laughs> inappropriately. I hope we can be friends. Sure, Lan. How are you? I'm glad we're getting more farmers. No, yet, yeah, but food is needed to live and not break. Need anything? Can you please give this... Uh thing to Meredith. Can you deliver it? Sure. I have no idea who Meredith is, but I bet I can do it. You're very welcome, Lan. I'm on Spoony Island. Wow. Ooh, a butterfly. I must have it. It is my butterfly. Maybe. Oh, Okay, it was nearly my butterfly, and then it became not my butterfly. Let's have a look at this one. I need to get closer. Oh, cool. That was a lanternfly. All right. And, oh, my inventory is full, but I don't lose it. Nifty, what can I eat? I can eat an ikonigiri. And now I have an inventory space. 
Aha. All right. <clears throat> well, what are my journal entries like? So I've got 14 hours. Oh my God. Fun JL. I'm never going to make that one, but it, I'll just be late. Meredith I can find, and Vera I can hopefully get to if I catch a tuk-tuk. So I have to not be just kind of ooh, distracted. Okay, I have to not be distracted <laughs> by all the bugs. I'm going to have to come out to Spoonie Island and, oh wait, Meredith. Are you Meredith? No, you are Elo. Oh, hi. hi, Elo. I am new. Ello. Rhymes with jello. Sounds like Ello. Welcome to the neighborhood. Or the island, I guess. We're a big community. That's why I moved here. So if you ever need something I can't do, we'll all pull together and find a way to get it done. Cool. You're not Meredith. Who are you? Lucas. Why? Why? What's an EPS? Emojis per second. <laughs> I don't just mean your standard smileys. Oh, that's very cool. Okay, so there is my tuk-tuk. Let me just have a look at where I can go. All sorts of places. Okay. Let's go find Meredith. Ah, okay. I have no idea who Meredith is. It is 2.54 p.m. I wonder if they have tropical bugs that will eat you on this island. That one's Poppy. Hi, Poppy. <coughs> I will come back and try. <laughs> That's awesome. I like it. This is kind of like a geeky island. I fit right in. All right. Meredith, where are you? Who are you? Okay, you're Mickey. Hey, uh... Not that I'm unhappy to see you, I just feel like my joints have been melted to glue. Pain makes me Captain Grumpy Pants. I was promoted from commander after I yelled at a flight of steps. I hear you. Alright, okay, so that's Mickey. Hey, Mickey, you're so fun. Ooh, that's pretty. Alright, so maybe there's like a, a mayor's dwelling somewhere in here. Okay, it's a cafe. Who are you? Forest. Oh, hey. <clears throat> awesome. Grew up both ended up different dietary issues and started doing a lot of experimenting with substitute ingredients. I wonder if he would take um, like the lactose free milk. Okay, that's that's the medical center. Alright, that's where I woke up. What's this? I haven't really had a... All right, that's Mayor Fern. How are you doing? <laughs> she wants to live in a treehouse. Uh, all right. I, I may be in trouble with this Meredith delivery. Uh, hmm. Okay. Let's have a look over this way. That's an open door. That's an invite, right? That's Tony. Hey, Hi, Tony. Hi. No. Thank you. Hi, Tony. This is Luca. Hope you're not allergic to either of us at that. <laughs> well, I'm not up to much, but Luca here is downright useful, so if you ever need a hand, let us know. We'll see what we can do. I... Okay. I'm going to assume Luca is the dog... Maybe. Okay. So Meredith has to exist. Therefore, she's somewhere on the island. Maybe. She's not either of these two. Maybe she's on the beach. I wonder if it's a delivery for maybe Wahoo Beach. Ooh, 
I don't have any space, that looked like ginger. Well, at least I know where to come to get it. I, I'm making a pretty big assumption that Meredith is somewhere on the island, right? Oh, I've got to come back. I don't think I've got these either. What's that? I don't know what it is, but I want it. Okay. Meredith is not here. Hmm. No. <gasps> I'm sorry, that was a big rustle. So is that. Oh my, the bugs are scary, guys. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, that's Mickey. Where is everybody on this island? Like I said, I don't think I want to run around here anymore. It's kind of really dark. <laughs> Alright, maybe... Okay, no, it's closed now. Alright, I might just grab the tuk-tuk and head home. And come back another time with an empty backpack. And actually, if I bring 20G, maybe I can buy a place on the island and then it won't matter if I get stuck over here. Pumpkin Vale, please and step on it. Wow, the museum is just as expensive. Okay. Honestly, I, I don't think I've jumped this much playing this game ever. And there goes my phone again. You know what, guys? We've been playing a little while. I might just let that ring. Oh, I missed the festival. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, I forgot the 21st days and oops, Vera is going to be mad at me. I wonder if I can still find her. Takeo and there's Harsha. I couldn't find her last festival. Moko. All right. Chessa. Yes, I should probably have headed home earlier. Look at this. It's so pretty. I love it. If I could turn my character around, I would I would try and get a shot of that, but I think even with my camera unlocked, I can't Yeah. I can't manage to flip my character. Nope. She's gonna stand there with her oops, with her back to me no matter what. Yeah, that's okay. Let's say hello to Takeo. Ah oh, no. deals with the oh no fine the festival is over I'm going to get a letter from a very upset Vera even though I have her wasabi and could give it to her tomorrow <laughs> I just got a little bit sidetracked with the bugs okay so I think what I'll do is I'll play at least one more day <laughs> and um, drop some of these bugs off at um, I'm really tempted to head back over to Spoonie Island for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, I need an empty backpack. Okay, speaking of empty backpacks, I don't have one, do I? No, I don't. 
And I forgot to check in the library. I was too busy getting bitten by bugs. Okay, let's empty this backpack out. Ooh, that was effective. Probably more effective than I wanted it to be. So I'll grab some of those bugs and pop them back. That was kind of like a sort all with attitude. Uh, the fish I might stick in the fish box and just sell. Uh, the food I definitely want. Mind you, this is a good way to sort your um, backpack out. Delivery bags, probably a good idea to not leave in there. Okay, yes, you can eat the pickles. Okay, good. That's juice. And there's one moth and one moth for the shipping bin. There's Vera's wasabi, but I don't think she'll want it anymore. There's my other delivery. Alrighty. Well, before I write the wasabi off, I'll check it anyway. Uh, I think the roses were new. We'll check them as well. And I think the hyacinth was new, but I could be wrong. And the spirea might have been new as well. I am going to process that. And I'm going to deliver, oh, I've got to deliver that to Zoe. And I'm going to sell that because it's taking up space. And what else is there? I need to turn those into seeds. <coughs> okay, I need to turn about six of them into seeds. The rest I can eat. I think I've already done roses by the look of that. All right, let's uh, J. All right, the hyacinth and spirea is new, and so are those. So we'll get, we'll take those off in the morning to the museum. Okay, and check the telly. I missed this morning's cooking channel. Oh no! Oh, I need to make wheat. Ooh, Italian fishing rod. You know what I'm hanging out for now? I'm actually hanging out for the recipe for bug nets. Um. And I will have to play with that, I think. <coughs> All right, I received something in the mail and uh, I suspect it's not cash. Fish patties and crafting. Yep. All righty. Check my crops. Ooh, nice. Roses, okay. Alright, now I happen to know I've got about 40 of them in my um, thing. Oh, oh no! And I put my all my, oh, all my tools away as well. That was daft. <coughs> oh dear. Okay, let's try this again. We're going to kind of need that. And we sort of need that and I might need this over here and maybe we should have that and possibly I should hang on to that. Fishing rod is always kind of handy. Juice I'm going to want. I'll be really sad if I find a bug and I don't have that to deal with it with. I've got 2000 so I'm actually going to go and buy myself another backpacky bit. So that'll be good. I don't need that on me. Uh, what else have I got? There's the pickaxe I'm using. Iron, iron, and iron. Okay. Oh no, and I've got a gold watering can, so we're good with that. All right, let's try this trick again, and you know, maybe actually water our plants. Oh man, that was because I fell over yesterday when it wasn't raining. So hopefully I can revive these, and they won't die on me. That would be sad. Oh no! The blueberry patch is dying. Yeah, there's some crops here I really don't want to lose. 
Actually, I probably didn't need to water those guys there because once you pick them, they're gone. Is that sugar beet? Aha, oh, awesome. We're going to put some sugar beet into the mill to make um, sugar for Tannis. So I should have 50. And I need to check and see if I've got um, a quota for it as well. Mushrooms you can turn into seed. Uh, just don't try doing it with glowing mushrooms because they tend to, to um, vanish. Um, actually, I think I forgot to put that up on the on Discord. <coughs> All right, eggplants. why I thought I needed this many blueberries but um, juice is good right okay and that one and those okay that's all done let's just check our all right so everything can go except for those. <coughs> so with that in mind, let's make some blueberry juice. I love this mass cooking, this is just awesome. Of course if you mess it up it's it's mass messing up too, but um mostly mostly it's awesome. go, that can go, and that, and those. Okay, the roses, because we've got enough of those. Now, those had to stay. Well, okay. Those could go. Actually, I want seeds. Okay. Those can go. That can go. That didn't come up, so it can go as well. We will head into we'll head into see Zoe. <coughs> I don't suppose explaining to Vera that I broke myself trying to fill her order would help. Um, I did leave it pretty late in the day because the bugs, I have to admit, had me pretty spooked. Guess you were too busy to finish your request for me. That is poor customer service and I'm not sure how to feel about it. From Vera. Okay. See, that's that's a strongly worded <coughs> reprimand. Yeah, done yet. Here. Jerk. <laughs> well, I brought your delivery and I thought Jerk. I might chat to you about, you know, wasting time and mailing letters. Uh, but seeing as you're busy, I'll leave you. Let's see what other errands I've got to run. It's it's kind of fun to poke, um, to poke poor uh, Kunjiao. I might try and find Meredith over on Spoonie Island. Uh, what was I doing? After I go and visit the museum, 
and apparently there's a there's a cave over there as well that I haven't explored yet so maybe maybe there are bits and bobs in the cave that I haven't got and there's also fishing I could do so on top of uh, catching bugs and gathering ginger uh, maybe I come up or maybe we can go and um, grab a few of those and I'm gonna try and find a spider one of those dangly ones near the tree so the museum first Evan why are you not in the museum how can I donate things to your museum if you are not there I'm gonna run down there anyway with my little fingers crossed and hope he magically appears I don't think he will but I, I can dream right Yeah, okay, fine. Uncooperative museum owners. You know, I just ran through those bushes and the only thought in my head was running through the bushes is a good way to get bitten. Because in Australia, it is a good way to get bitten. Um, so, <laughs> so yeah, now Pumpkin Vale is a little bit like Australia, but... I guess not everything is out to kill you here. Let's travel down to Spoonie Island and see what we can uh, what we can do. <clears throat> and it's the afternoon, and I've missed everybody again. No, this place is so quiet. Okay. Hey, friend. Tony, how you doing? You love mermaids. Shark mermaids are the best. I like Tony. Oh, maybe this is a good place to find Meredith. That's Mickey, I think. Ah, oh, thank that's you. Meredith. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, touchy. Oh, you may not think getting a purse to the face is a big deal, but I brought this special tactical purse. Just press this button and spikes. I'm leaving Meredith alone now. She seems a little bit um shy. Shy. Okay, I have managed to make the impossible delivery. Uh, and now I'm going to go find... I'm going to go find some bugs. How much space have I got? I've got enough space to get myself into trouble. Let's give it a shot. Where's my net? It's on five. Let's put it back on nine. Because I'm used to it being there. And I saw um, little bits and bobs as well over here. So let's see what we can... Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's see if we can catch the thing with the thing. We shall creep up on the bug. Oh no, that was not creepy enough. That was a big butterfly too. All right, fine. I shall pick up this one. And it's that. Mariposa, nice. And sorrel, okay. And there was a, a butterfly over here. Let's go with the number nine again and see if we can catch this one. Little sticks. Okay, that's okay. Let's go find some more flowers. I don't think I've got any of these, so this is still not this is still a good catch for the museum. So and maybe I can grow it. What's that? Okay, that's wind blowing grass. Ooh. Flowers. Okay. There are things that rustle in the dark on this island let's see if we can find them of course you've got to find them before they rustle otherwise they run away or they bite you <laughs> and then they run away oh man that scared me Ha <laughs> ha. 
I don't know. This part of me that says, go home now, you silly lady. Ooh, flowers. Ooh, a, a thing. Uh oh, that looks like a buzzy, bitey thing. No, no, it's a butterfly. Surely it's a friendly thing. It's my number nine. Oh, piffle. Okay, fine. <laughs> Damn it. Oh man, I wish I wish they would hang around after they made the sound because sometimes you don't even see them and and you need to see them in order to catch them. Oh, if I get bit, I'm gonna be so mad at you. Ooh, mint. Ginger. Nothing I can give the museum, but um, pretty handy anyway. All right. Let's go find things that rustle and try not to have a heart attack this time. And I failed on both counts. So I had a heart attack and I found a thing that rustled and it ran away. Okay, so there are things on the trees, and I can't see them. See? <sighs> okay. Okay, so where's a tree I haven't been near? Maybe that one. Let's see if I can... There. I think that there's a thing there on the tree. Right there. Oh, and it, it's gone already. Okay, so not only is it almost impossible to see, but you won't hear it until it runs away. That's tricky. How I'm not sure how I'm going to get around that. <clears throat> on the upside at least I know it's not a spider and probably won't bite me so I can stop having a heart attack every time I hear something rustle all right where's somewhere I haven't been I'll see if I can find one again uh, all right firstly if I find somewhere that sparkles that'll mean I haven't been because I, I pick up all the sparkles Okay, so I probably have scared all of the beetles on the island without seeing more than one of them. So let's see if there's any things that cling to palm trees. And oh god, I hope they don't bite. So, um, yeah, things that rustle are rustling and running away. And I guess by the time you hear them rustle, it's too late. They have beaten you. I'm just wondering if I've got enough energy to get myself through the forest. Because I, I bet there are... Oh, there are probably things that bite in the forest. Oh, and I did say I was going to fish. <coughs> okay, so on Spoonie Island there are beetles and they're really hard to see. And by the time you hear something rustle, it's already gone. So, um... Yeah, you just have to get good at seeing it before it runs away. It's my fishing rod. It's four. All right, so let's see if we can catch some fish while I think about how I'm going to handle that. I 
these should all be pretty much new anyway because I don't think I've I've done any fishing out away from um, Pumpkin Vale. Ooh, pretty. So pretty much what I'm doing is I'm left tapping on the mouse to keep things. I think I explained this before. Just left tapping on the mouse button to keep uh, the marker in the green area. I'm not holding it down, I'm just tapping. And when you catch your fish, your fishing rod automatically gets put away and you have to re-equip it. When you re-equip it, the fish automatically gets put into your backpack. So you don't have to freak out about, you know, losing your fish. Ooh. Whoa, it's a big fish. I was just about to give up. Be very, very quiet. We are hunting fishies. I caught that one already. I want a different fishy. Okay, caught that one. So we've caught anchovies, we've caught grouper, we've caught a sorry pike. I wonder what else there is in these waters. It is autumn, so maybe not a lot. Ooh, a saltwater eel. Nice. Okay, let's see what else we can find. another sorry pike. All right, if I catch another fish the same next time around, I'll stop fishing and see if I can go scare myself witless with the beetles on the trees again. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Oh, it's going to get away if I'm not careful. Oh, no. Okay. That's fine. Judicious clickery did not work with that one. Okay, so it is 1.42 a.m. Rather than run all the way home. Oh, I might just keep an eye out for bugs on the way through here. There's one. Two, even. Let's go. Nine for butterfly net. I lost it. Yeah. Okay, see how it's agitated? Just stand really still and let it settle. And even then you may miss it. Oh. Very, very quiet. We are hunting ghost moths and failing miserably. All right, let's try again. It is really hard to tell whether or not you're close enough to them. Uh, and sometimes what works with one lot of moths does not work with another. So uh, each one you just got to try and work it out and give it a shot. Hopefully you can catch it. 
Hey, who's this on the beach? Alexis. <coughs> Hello, fresh meat. It's a treat to find someone new to watch around these parts. Thanks, Alexis, I think. Hi, Greta. I'm glad we're getting more farmers on the island. Food is needed to live and not break. Yes. Alrighty, speaking of living and not breaking, if I don't go home soon, my poor little farmer is going to break. So let's head over to Pumpkinvale. And hopefully... Yes, see there is a moth right there. Let's see if we can do a little bit better with this moth than we did with the last five. Seriously? Oh, that's just annoying. All right, so note to self, you may need to pick all the poppies before you try and catch the moth that's near the poppies. You need like a little targety thing. Let's see if we can find another one just because. Oh look, two. They are bonus. Alright, where'd it go? Over there. Let's grab the poppy so that the game doesn't get confused. And we'll try again. Okay. We're close enough for it to get agitated, but I don't think we're close enough to catch it. No, okay, so close enough to disturb it, but not close enough to catch it. We did get that one. Nice. Alrighty. It's 6.19 a.m. Oh. What do you think our chances are? Oh. That's okay. That's a burnet moth. Alright. What do you think our chances are of getting to the museum and donating our stuff before we fall over? Let's find out. And then I think we'll probably do our best to be the farmer that sleeps in the daylight. Looking at my energy bar thinking, mm, do I want to eat something? So, spiders live on trees. Sometimes. And um, stag beetles live on trees on Spoony Island. And they're really hard to see. Ha, oh, just made it. Oh wow, I did catch a few things. That's pretty good. Oh, but it was only worth about 2%. Hey Evan, do you need anything? Yes, I can go running around in the rain to find Jelmo for you. How are you doing? Oh, that's very kind of you. <laughs> Alright, let's pocket that, that errand and um, what we'll do is we'll grab the, the tuk-tuk home. So I, I forgot to count how many things I just donated. There's like 10, I think, or 12. And uh, it only brought us up 2%. So, so we've got our work cut out for us. To, uh, to beat Jounce. I think we've also got our work cut out for us to get home before we fall over, but uh, we're going to give it our best shot, and this time we're not going to catch all the bugs on the way home. Maybe. Because, I mean, how annoying would it be to fall over right now when we're this close? That would be sad. And all my fault. Do I have time to <laughs> collect my mail? Pro 
probably not. Let's not play too much with fire. I think we're close enough to the flame as it is. You know, I'm going to run through these bushes one day and something is going to jump out and scare the daylights out of me. Yeehaw. All right, we will watch the telly. We've missed the evening's show, but we can catch the morning shows. Fancy oatmeal. Nice. Strawberries, kiwi, cinnamon, and milk. Yummo. Crafting channel. All right, I think, I think it's time for my character to have a nap. And get up at midnight. We'll be fine. What I might do is have a very short run into town, deliver this thing to Jelmo, and then come back home to bed and kick my character back onto the right sleep cycle. And then I will, in the real world, call it a day. I hope you're enjoying uh, watching me try and catch bugs. and not get bitten by spiders and things. We are, I think, in two days' time, when I run Pumpkin Days again, what I might do is try and get up to the... Uh, I've got to go to the Topical Tundra anyway. Uh -huh. But I also uh, need to go up to Hyatus Trails and Diamond Falls. So what I'm thinking is, I'm thinking we might head up to... It's not open yet? No, okay is we might head up to Hiatus Trails next time we're around. And then if we've got time, we'll head over to the Topical Tundra and uh, try and catch some of the nastier bugs that are out there. And the other thing we can do is also try to um, go out to things like the different oh, bus stops. Um... Oh, Secretary's work is never done. Quinjal? Jerk. <laughs> you will, will you? That's lovely. Uh, no, the only funny idea I've got is that maybe one day you'll say hello and be civil. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I might can. be too far out for even you. What kind of music? Oh man, these guys are so full of attitude. What? what? Please run around in the rain and get horribly sick so I can take care of you. Do you know, I, I think that might be Tannis's way of saying, Hi, I'm happy to see you. How are you doing? Uh, I'm not sure, though. I'm still working that out. Hey, Jelmo. Oh, seriously? Hey. I, I do not think a lot. Hmm. Awesome. <clears throat> All right, let's um, let's take a trip through the daisy patch and see if we can't, I don't know, find something before it finds us. Mind you, it, it's possible that that there aren't too many nasty, creepy crawlies around town because. That would be mean. Here we go. Jamie! Hello. How you doing? It is perfect book reading weather. Why are you here? Oh, that's cool. Reading with Tasha over a cup of hot chocolate. Jamie! Hi. Oh, I know what I need to do. I hope I brought my barley with me. Zoe! Thanks, babe. Oh my god! No worries, I did kind of. You're very welcome. You actually have an extra still you don't often use. You can have it if brewing liquor is your thing. I don't know, I'll have to give it a shot, won't I? She gave me a still. She did too. Okay, actually that reminds me. I need to duck into the library before I go to bed. Because in the library, I'll be able to work out what I need to get for a beer barrel. 
I wonder if I can make like apple cider or something. Processes, here we go. <clears throat> okay, it's bags of barley, not raw barley. So I need to ship two lots of 50. It takes two ingredients for a bottle of alcohol. So beer for barley, mead is honey. Oh, ginger for ginger beer, 50. Apples, chicha, wheat beer is different. Okay, sake and uh, wine, cool. Cheese and mayo, I need to ship 20 milk, okay. And 50 of anything used for making oil, so olives, coconuts, avocados, peanuts and corn. Uh, milk processor. 100 milk, okay. A loom, 20 wool. Okay, so fabric comes from the loom and you get to make clothes. I don't think I've shipped poop yet, which means I'm a little bit short for a fertilizer barrel. No worries. And the seed maker, a hundred crops. I should have gotten that up there. Butter churn, 20 milk. So I need to really get my patootie moving on buying a barn. Okay. Looks like that will be part of the next mission is buy a barn and buy some cows and some sheep. Maybe buy two barns. That's a lot of poop though. Because, my goodness, those animals really poop a lot. Alright. I am actually curious before I go to bed to see what kind of insects I can find in the dark, dark forest. So I might go and see what I can find over there before I head back to bed and end the day. Because bug catching is fun, even if it scares the daylights out of me. So. Let's check this out. I'm thinking there's probably things on the on the bark of the trees as well. So let's um that path used to go somewhere. All right, let's grab that. That's probably dillweed. Yep. All right, what we're looking for is lighter marks on the trees, maybe. I'm just going to go around on the clear ground and see if I can see anything inside. Nope. Okay. Maybe they don't come out in the rain. Oh no, they're, they're, there's one. Let's catch that one. I think I already have this one though. Whoops. Nope. Oh, I didn't have that one. That's a pepper moth. Okay. Like I said, it's really hard to gauge the distance. So I need to find another bug to um, to terrorize so I can find it. And I probably should have looked them up in the library before I came out here, like a mad thing. Hmm. I love this statue. It's awesome. Alrighty. Actually, it looks really good against the stars. Okay. Um, sorry, I will focus back on bugs. It is possible that they don't like the rain. Oh, nifty! Okay. Let's see if I can just make any little 
squeaks or squawks come up off the trees. If I get bitten in here, it will all be my own fault. So maybe there are a lot of day insects in these woods. Okay. It is 1.34 a.m. I think I'd better go home. Maybe. Oh no, where did my road go? Ooh, flowers. <coughs> I am hopeless. Oh. All right, let's try again. There's one. I think I've got this one though. Gosh, how's that not close enough? But anyway. Hmm. All right, let's try over here. This, I think, is bee balm, too, by the way. If you've got that mission for um, Dahlia, or Iris, sorry, uh, then... This is where you need to come to get your bee balm. Again, that was pretty close. I don't quite know what I'm doing wrong. Alright, let's try again. I mean, I know they can be caught because I've done it, but I just don't know what the difference is between when I did catch them and when I didn't catch them. <laughs> Damn it. I mean, I'm right on top of them, but I'm still missing them. So maybe, maybe you can be too close. I don't know. <laughs> All right, there's another one. See, that's just insane. All right, let's try again. If I can find some more flowers where I haven't terrorized the insects into oblivion. I could go chasing artifacts. They don't run away. But that would be too much like giving up. And I don't like doing that. Uh, I'm also lost, in case you're wondering. Oh no, I don't know where I am. Alright. Where's my map? Okay, I need to turn that way. Oh, 
Schaden. There's a road. Alright, so we'll take this poor character home. Try not to get us stuck in a ditch on the way. And see how we go. So, there are bugs everywhere. Some of them will bite you. And most of them are pretty hard to see. And it's difficult to gauge the distance that you have to be before you can swing that net with any assurance of catching them. But, on the whole, it's a ton of fun. So, um, yes, on that note, I'm going to let my poor character catch some Z's. Actually, I might after, oh my gosh, after I've fed the chickens and um, put the sugar beets in to brew, because Tennis would like some sugar to make cookies for Terra. So there we go. Hey Noodle, and Noople, and Bingamy what's it? What? Oh, sorry chickens, I put the chicken feed in the shed. So if you have chicken feed and it's not in your backpack, um, you can't feed your chickens. You have to put it in the backpack in order. In order for the chicken feeding thing to work. Hi Nuko. So we'll just pop that away. And that. And that. And this. Hug Bell. Hello chicken. And hug Nuko. Look. Food. Alright. And now we'll go to bed. Ooh. In a minute. After I've harvested whatever that is. Okay, no. I will harvest that tomorrow simply because I need to go find my harvester. Blackberry jam. Yep. And crafting. Ooh. And check the weather. It might rain tomorrow. But in the meantime, I'll catch you all later. Thanks for hanging with me, guys, and I will see you in two days' time when I play Pumpkin Vale again. Tomorrow we are playing my time at Porsche. Have a great day, all.